Mixed martial arts added another one to the list Friday night as Hamilton hosted their first professional event with Slammer in the Hammer at Cops Coliseum. Former UFC fighter Jason Doomsday headlined the card in light heavyweight action against French fighter Francis Carmont. Carmont burst out quickly, knocking Day against the cage and sending him south, where Day turtled up and absorbed shots as referee John McCarthy called for the finish at the 2 minute and 10 second mark. The seven-year veteran credited his win to the recent move to the TriStar Gym in Montreal under Firhas Sahabi. Yeah, Firhas is a very, very good coach. I'm, I serve him many times. Um, my coach uh, the, is, is our, uh, Eric O'Keefe, uh, Ferraz Zabi, uh, the grand brother. Yeah, it's a very good, uh, a good win for me. It's a very um, important match. Um, I make my job. I make a very good, very hard training. I train at the three star gym. It's very good. I'm very happy. The evening's co-feature saw a battle of Canada and the United States as Calgary native Brad Cardinal met Detroit's Darren Cruikshank. The story of the fight was Cruikshank's relentless stand-up with numerous spin kicks that have become his calling card. However, it was a kick to the body that sent Cardinal to the mat and Cruikshank followed up with more shots for the win at the 4 minute and 35 second mark of round one. Cruikshank relished the hostile environment and encouraged it by coming out to Rick Derringer's Real American. You know, as a kid, I watched a lot of professional wrestling, and you know, it's a spectator sport just like that. And you know, you got to put on a good show. And uh, I kind of like being the bad guy. I felt uh, so much superior on my feet than him. Um, I know I have a, a wide range of uh, striking background, but um, you know, I could just tell by his timing right away that uh, that he was slower and very predictable. So I just kind of opened up. You know, Darren Cruikshank was the guy I was watching, and I said, man, i got to get this guy in the card. He's got some really good spin kicks, as you saw tonight. Yeah. Uh, he's got some head movements. He does the backflip when he wins. You know, just an overall performance. After an endless list of opponents falling through, Jesse Ronson ended up getting to fight Boston native Brandon Shagnon in welterweight action. Ronson, a natural lightweight, didn't have issues with the higher weight, posturing out of Shagnon's guard and working into a mount position, and then going for a rear naked choke that wasn't tight, but did allow Ronson to transition back to mount and end the fight with strikes at four minutes and 40 seconds of the opening round. Like the thing is, I had like five other fights fall out from this one, but I wanted to be on this card real bad, so they called him last minute. I couldn't find anything on him. I heard he was a brawler, which turned out to be, you know, he's got that red hair, the fire, fiery like the pits of hell. He came out and he was throwing. He cracked me good. And I wanted to keep it standing, but uh, you know that kick, the takedown presented itself where I could lay down some serious, serious elbows. Fighting MMA in the home, the home province is great. I'd love to fight in London, but Hamilton's the next best thing. And having this guy from Boston coming into my, almost like my town, it's not going to happen. No way he's leaving with a W. I had to smash him and smash him good. Hometown favorite and Iron Tiger Muay Thai product Lyndon Whitlock improved the 4-1 Friday night, stopping Robert Rende in the first round after dropping his featherweight counterpart with a right and dropping two more devastating rights to end the fight at 2 minutes and 25 seconds of the first. And in the fight of the night, Eric Atomic Attard of Welland met Toronto BJJ's David Bodrug. The first round was action-packed with Bodrug slamming Attard after shooting for the double and then proceeded to mount Attard, but Attard weathered the strikes and made his way to his feet and worked to get the back of Bodrug and go for a rear naked choke to finish an ultra-competitive round. The second round was much more straightforward after a solid right to the body of Bodrug dropped him and the fight was finished at 27 seconds of the second round.